Hey everyone, just a little rider here. Uh, just off to your friend's house, really. Uh, just going to uh, go for a ride afterwards. Uh, and uh, just a, f a friend of mine, his uh, battery is down. So I just got some uh, stuff carrying with me and uh, gonna fix him up first and then oh, we can go for a ride it's about uh, 11.30 right now here in uh, Melbourne it's a Monday uh, we both have a day off I think or he starts late work uh, I've got a day off uh, so yeah we just uh, gonna go around for riding uh, my check engine light has come on again I don't know why that light comes on uh, uh, so I'll just ch uh, show it to my mechanic uh, um, last time when it happened uh, he just said look uh, come over I'll just do something in the computer um, he'll just put the connect the triumph thing to the bike uh, and then he did something and the light was gone um, it's nothing really it's just some uh, sort of an uh, error that it pops up uh, but there is no issues uh, as far as I know it rides really good it, t it starts fine you know uh, I don't see any issues with it at all so uh, yeah th th that's one of the annoying things about uh, uh, this old lady now but she's done almost 73,000 kilometers so you know um, this uh, this is minor nothing major really uh, but it, like the other day um, it showed up so it has just come out of service right uh, after the service I've done about what thousand kilometers not a lot there uh, but after the service uh, it happened to me straight away that the in check engine light come on um, so of course uh, I was uh, going to my mechanics uh, uh, shop to say hey look uh, I've got the light on see what uh, what do I do uh, but while I was going there the light turned off so I was like oh cool um, I don't have to worry about it so I went back home straight away literally um, I go I go go out of my house and I go to the second set of lights or the third set of lights and then it turns off so I'm like hey I'm just gonna turn around and go home um, but now then after yeah I also did the Thompson Dam ride um, I'll put the link in the description uh, where that Thompson Dam ride is uh, so uh, yeah I, I did that whole ride it was about uh, 7800 kilometers day uh, it was an amazing day beautiful day and uh, yeah the and then there was no light there and suddenly now I've got a light again and just when I left the house today there was no light but I just did a refueling at BP and uh, as soon as I did that I've got the light now so I'm expecting either the light to go away or just stay as it is as annoying as it sounds and uh, ooh, 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 what's this here uh, traffic great but yeah um, does anybody own a Daytona and has the same issue as the light that comes on after every now and then um, it has happened one it has happened like what twice now so once it happened I took it to the mechanic he put the uh, computer in uh, and uh, he took it off then and that happened after that service then after a few services later this has happened again so we'll find out see how we go um, good thing I have the roadside assist for it so if something does go wrong uh, and doesn't turn on that can help us uh. so yeah what do you guys think what do you guys think this light is for uh, does anybody have a Daytona that shows this light as annoying as it sounds uh, uh, but it has come out of service uh, it's been professionally done the service so I don't think uh, oy, what's happening here so I don't think anything is wrong with the bike uh, it's just the light that keeps coming on every now and then um, everything works fine I don't feel like I know when the bike is has problems and it doesn't feel as smooth as what it feels right now so uh, Daytona's are very very good bikes again okay? these are really good bikes uh, but these are very touchy bikes as well you know they're like a, I don't know what do you call it uh, a very touchy woman you know they're like a, um, like on edge you know they're like women on edge really um, when I was buying this bike and nobody ever said oh there's gonna be issues with the bike okay so and same thing is happening to the other bike that, can, that I'm looking up right now um, I like to research a little bit I like to uh, decide the bike then I like to sit on it for a few years uh, or a few months at least uh, same thing what I did with my car 
I sat on it after I decided hey, I want to buy that car but I just sat on it for a while for like a very long time I think I was working at the iinet back then uh, what 2017 and then I ended up getting the car in 2019 you know so it's a year or two you know it takes uh, for me to um, uh, make a decision because uh, yeah that's how I am with everything uh, we take that long uh, with the motorcycle I have decided what the bike I want to get there um, now I just need to find a good deal on it and uh, um, usually I try to pay it up off front so I don't try to go and take loans on it there um, so we just uh, save it up for it really but I'm thinking if I can really afford oh, a brand new one you know like the YouTube gig is not making me any money right now but um, hopefully one day it, it takes you somewhere otherwise uh, we have got other stuff uh, no, uh, no harm uh, road works ahead okay. it's a bit cold not the best of the weather today but uh, the skies over there looks better So yeah, uh, what I was saying with the Daytonas, yeah, they're, they're like a bit touchy bikes, right? So um, just gotta be a little bit careful uh, how, um, like uh, the electronics are a little bit like, you know, wary on the edge. But other than that, uh, you will hear a lot of people say, no, I don't have any problem with my Daytona. So when I was buying this bike and I was asking a few different people about the, their opinions and uh, um, like, uh, and everyone said, nah, it's a perfect bike, it's a really great bike, go for it, no issues at all. But, I'll tell you the issues that I've found so far, right? It's expensive to maintain. Now, that's coming from me, right? Uh, uh, but, you might be rich, you might be like uh, loaded, you know, and you don't care about the expenditure on it. Ooh, yeah, so... Um, you might not care about it you might go oh, cool I don't, I don't give a fuck uh, you know how much it costs i'm like a fucking uh, loaded like uh, anything uh i'm not so uh especially when i got this bike as well i was not uh, um so then after you get it you find out oh shit it's actually expensive to um maintain this bike uh, um my mechanic charges what 700 for for service for a small service and almost thousand for um, major service and uh, I have uh, not actually ever changed the mechanic you might go hey, but uh, why don't you go to a different mechanic uh, that might charge you a little bit cheaper uh, but I like this mechanic that works on my bike um, it's really really good um, really knows his what he's doing so yeah uh, I don't need to change the mechanic oh, there, oh damn it here we go the service center was right here god damn it I took a little bit of detour to get to the service center to get the fuel done if I knew that the uh, one is right here it would be okay All right, so it's 110 around here and about 27 kilometers to go for this uh, and yeah with, with the Daytona the other problem is that it's a bit touchy it's very like um, uh, as I said it's very like a, you know moody bike um, so sometimes uh, um, it's got problems with the alternator uh, but not very often I have changed uh, what alternator once I've changed starter once as well in a uh, what 80,000 70, 72,000 kilometers now so yeah um, you can see how it is and uh, I've dropped it once on the gravel and uh, the front uh, the whole thing was broken the left side was broken as well which I got it replaced cost me about uh, three grand but that's my mistake here uh, so yeah that happens right that, that's why uh, I said that these bikes are a little bit expensive to maintain and uh, work on it. Other than that, uh, um, what upgrades have I done? Um, I put this uh, knob here on the 
both sides. I've got the screen protector, I mean the, the windscreen here, screen protector. Uh, then I've got the, what else I've got? Oh yeah, the LED lights. So the LED lights are different because when I dropped the bike, the LED light was broken. So I was like, oh cool, this is the perfect time to change all the LEDs on my bike. And that's about it. That's about the, um, all the upgrades I've done. I've removed a few things here and there, but nothing major. annoying things about this area is that it keeps changing 110 90 100 110 90 100 90 100 110 it's like on fucking drugs man Oh, that's gonna be windy here. Tuck in, tuck in! Ah! Tuck in! There we go. Nice. my back so I'm actually carrying some stuff with me right now I'm carrying a battery on me so of course there's one in the motorcycle but I'm carrying a spare battery on me I'm also carrying today a charger so the battery charger and the, the, the car charger the cables uh, that's because uh, my friend here Adam has a, a dead battery but when we go for a ride I'm just gonna leave everything at his place so just can gotta carry this back and see if we get a drone movement somewhere uh, backish Mars not the backish Mars exit nice positioning Adam nice positioning Nice coming in, nice coming in, and very nice getting out, look at that, that's how a professional should be doing it, turns on, or we are stuck here. Okay. Where are Adam, what are you doing brother? Uh, oh shit, <laughs> at the last minute he goes, he's turning at the last minute. <laughs> 